some Chick-fil-A, get some chicken in my system. I ordered some potato chips. I don't think these are potato chips. Those are crisscross fries. Yeah, because it has an option between crisscross um, waffle fries or crisscross chips. I got chips, but um, I guess they just mistaken it for that. Then we have the Spicy Deluxe Pepper Jack, two of them for me and Brian. And I got myself a multi-grain bun. Hopefully it is. Sometimes Postmates... Uh, These look like normal buns. Yeah, I think they didn't listen to anything we said. And we don't have our chicken soup. I ordered chicken soup. Okay. okay, and I got some lemonade and iced tea. Hopefully they got that right. Did they charge you for it? Yeah, they did. They charged me for um, the chicken soup. But I'll have to just deal with Postmates afterwards. This is the first time I've had Chick-fil-A that looks kind of not fresh. Still tastes good though. <laughs> well, it's not because of the delivery. The fries are whatever. I want a multi-grain because it says <clears throat> you have to include multi-grain into your diet. This is a potato bun. They offer gluten-free bun too, but I didn't get that. Let's see. I had two orders. Why are there two orders? Because one, one for you and one for me. Missing side item. So, I don't get it. In addition, you're supposed to get a soup? I didn't order fries. I ordered a soup. Paid an extra $2 for soup. So it'll be $5. So you order one fry and one soup? Uh, one potato chips and one soup. Not potato Can't, fries. You, they don't show your receipt, which you ordered? They show it in um, Postmates, but right now I can't see it, so I have to just decide which one, which, which order goes with which. They work pretty fast on Postmates. I got an email from Postmates support. It says, thanks again for letting us know about the issues you had with your order, Chick-fil-A. For your records, here's a copy of the refund we applied to your account. Refund is $40.07. They refund the whole $40? Yeah, and what? our updated total is one cent. Again, I'm sorry we didn't meet your expectations this time. If you have any other questions or concerns, feel free to reach out, reach back out. I appreciate your patience and thank you for choosing Postmates. I feel bad, like we ripped them off. All we wanted was a soup difference. Soup and fries and um, bun. It wasn't missing. Your fries was a mistake order. Mistake for potato chips. Yeah, yeah. so they give you crisscross. Fries and their crisscross chips. Mm -hmm. The multi grain was extra, I had to pay for, and the potato soup was five dollars and something extra as well. So almost six dollars something. So they should have given you like ten bucks back. Right? I gave you forty. Well, service! Free meal always tastes better, huh? <laughs> okay, so let's taste their lemonade. I've been hearing good things about their lemonade and freshly brewed iced tea. Okay. This one's really sweet. Um, and also people like to combine them half-half. I didn't do that, but let's do it right now. It's interesting. It's very interesting. I think separately I like the iced tea better because this one's too sweet, but I do like it together. It's very interesting. Come here, sit. <laughs> <laughs> I've tried the iced yeah. tea and the lemonade at In-N-Out. I did not like it. I thought that was so oh. weird, but this one's okay. This one's not bad. Oh, okay, let's see. Try separate and then try it together. They have options for you to do it together, so that's why I thought it was like, oh, this must be a thing. What do you think? Now, this is too strong by itself, the lemonade. But together it balanced, right? Like it's too bitter and too sweet. And some's a little sweet too. You know what? Together it tastes like Brisk. lemonade iced tea, right? Brisk right? iced tea? <laughs> yeah, because you know like iced tea, you have lemonade in it. Mm -hmm. It's like brisk iced tea, but extra lemonade. Mm -hmm. They didn't invent anything new. <laughs> <laughs> mm. The fries aren't that good. I never liked waffle fries. I always felt that they're so thick. I've heard good crisscross fries. This is just soggy. Personally, I like thin fries, um, shoestring fries. Waffles is just too much. It's just have you had it with their sauce? A chunk of like potato that I don't like. Um, no, I have not. But um, the chicken is so good. Yeah, the chicken. Ooh. It's always so tender. And How do they do that? I don't know, but honestly, I love this way more than Helen Ray's or, yeah. you know, any like other chicken sandwich place. It's just so good. Even McDonald's is like, nah, but they're not known yeah, for chicken. Yeah, McDonald's so. is not, doesn't compare to. So good, especially for chicken breasts. All right, so I'll finish up our meal, get back to work. I downloaded another app called Ovia, and this app gives you a daily development. The other apps give you a weekly development kind of update. So today's development on Ovia's app is that the baby is the size of a bunch of bananas, and so 
his brain is developing more and more and so since it's developing more be sure to not say anything that will hurt his peelings since he's a banana right now so people have been telling me that babies feel your emotions and can feel sad if you um, say something you know that might be hurtful towards the baby but it's actually now that is that it's happening so at the 27th week and one day so Brian has been like complimenting me left and right and trying to make me smile just so that my feelings could feel a certain way and it'll transcend to the baby because I don't think the baby understands English yet he just understands emotions from the mom and it'll just like you know go down to the baby so well it's easy to compliment you <laughs> Anyway, he's being extra cheesy and I guess it works. <laughs> so we're gonna try to be nice and uh, say nice things to each other and the baby. So, and not feel a certain way. <sighs> Do you like bananas? No. You gotta learn. <laughs> but I think it's, it's one of the first foods that babies eat when they start to eat solids, bananas. Mm. Don't you have to like test it to make sure it's good? I'm not sure. I think it should be okay. It has good um, nutrients and. Aren't you gonna? You're not gonna sample it to make sure it's good. You will, not me. Anyway, so today, come over here. Lots and lots of makeup that I'm going to like uh, clear out. I haven't been using them for a long time, so I'm gonna put it away. And um, up here, lots and lots of jewelry that I bought for music videos. That's going to have to be on hold for a moment because of Pooper Scooper. And up here, costumes for my um, shows and music video has to go into storage. So I don't want to like put it in a box and tape it up. I'll just put it in a box and leave it open so that I won't like, you know, not do my music. Okay? So that's what we're doing today, and hopefully we'll make some room for baby's diapers, his changing station, essentials like wipes, travel bags, stuff like that. And down here we have um, all these uh, backgrounds that I have for my makeup tutorials. So I think they're good like that. What do you think? Should we put them in a box or leave it there? Because baby might get in there and start to like pull it out and stuff like that. When it's he's not like going to be crawling months. for a while, so we'll deal with it later. Okay. Okay, so lots and lots of stuff like wigs. And I know some of you guys have been asking me to um, donate my makeup, but I feel like that's not something safe. Because in the case that you get my secondhand makeup and, you know, you develop some sort of bacteria, you know, then I don't want to be responsible for your outbreak on your face. So um, I, I know some of them I've never used and I probably only used once. But still, I'd rather take precaution and not um, donate it to people out there. Just be careful. And I know there's like some stuff where you can like spray it and kill the bacteria and clean off. But yeah, I, I just don't feel comfortable sending off my lipsticks and cream makeups and like highlighters that are like liquids. So yeah, just don't want to transfer any bacteria. All right. So. Yeah, we'll clean out some stuff, maybe hair stuff that I might donate, curling irons, straighteners, stuff like that. So be on the lookout for my um, giveaways. So yeah, let's do this real quick. <sighs> it's about 9.45 p.m. We were gonna go out, but I figured I'm too tired today. Fatigueness is crazy this past these past two days. Like, it's just, okay. Anyways, we're gonna have dinner right now. We ordered fast food because it's the easiest for this time. And um, Brian's gonna have a meeting real quick. He's going to uh, interview an employee. So um, yeah, very quick and easy. This is a Chalupa craving box and Brian loves um, crazy stuff like uh, Doritos. So Doritos like uh, taco shells is what I got him. And then we got some Iced tea unsweetened and brisk tea mango flavor since my husband likes oh, flavors. Oh, this girl gave a lot of sauces. <laughs> Give her a big tip. So I got you um, fiery uh, Doritos and then I got you nacho Doritos and then one of them is like a cooler ranch Dorito. So Ooh. he likes all that flavor type-ish. Great. Yeah. So um, this one is a craving box. Oh, and they have um, 
cinnamon twist. So careful now. So burrito, burrito. Hey, where's my burrito? Mm. The one that I ordered. This is the burrito. Okay, okay, cool. Almost got another free meal. <laughs> All right, so um, I thought today was Tuesday, but that was yesterday. That's why I wanted to get in the mood for a Taco Tuesday, but today is Wednesday. So what should we come up with for um, hmm? for Wednesday's tacos? Uh, we dine. We dine <laughs> Wednesday. <laughs> okay, I guess, whatever. All right, bon appetit, honey. Diablo. Diablo's not good. Is that supposed to be the hottest? It's supposed to be the hottest, but it's weird tasting That's to me. Better, okay. I don't know. I, I like the I fire one. It's up to you. You can try it so you know. I'll try it later. I don't want to okay. start off with a bad start. Ending off the night with some tacos and some happy thoughts for baby to be happy throughout the rest of the pregnancy. So you know what that means, right? Don't piss me off. <laughs> Whatever you like. <laughs> All right. Good night, guys, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.